Hey guys, in this video I'm going to take you through my Lightroom workflow for turning a poor, underexposed baby photo into a bright, print-ready portrait. You can download the project files for this tutorial to see how everything was put together and have a photo to work with if you don't have one of your own. Let's get started. I'll start off by saying that it's always best to get the settings right in camera, but when I'm shooting in RAW, I know that I can be a little more careless with things like white balance and exposure in certain situations. With that said, I'm going to show you how I took this before photo where the white balance and exposure are off and turned it into this professional quality portrait. So the first thing that I like to do is work with the white balance. Now you could always use the eyedropper and sample something white from the image, but I prefer to do it manually because the technical white balance is not always what's going to look best. So I'm going to take this white balance slider and just make it a little cooler. Next I'm going to adjust the exposure so I get a properly exposed image, so I'm going to increase that to about 0.85. And the third thing that I like to do is set the clarity to get the overall look of my image dialed in before I start making adjustments. So I'm going to increase the clarity to about 60 or 65. I don't like how dark the eyes look and how some of the background is pretty dark, so I'm going to increase the shadows to about 80. And that'll just bring up some of those dark areas to a more neutral tone. I do want this image to have a little more contrast, so even though I brought the shadows up, I'm going to bring the blacks down just a bit to give it more contrast. Maybe about negative 15 or so. In a lot of my images, I like the whites to pop a lot, so I'm going to take the white slider and turn it up to about 15. Now I'm going to go into the tone curve, and I like the very brightest whites in my image to be pure white. So I'm going to take this top slider here and move it all the way to the right, and that's going to limit the adjustments I make to my highlights to just the very brightest parts of the image. Then I'm going to take the highlights up about 15. Next I'll go into the detail panel, and I'm going to increase the sharpening to about 100. I like really sharp portraits. And then I'm going to take the luminance noise reduction and set it to about 50 to remove some of the noise. Next I'll go into the lens correction tab and I'm going to enable the profile corrections. Now I'm going to leave all the settings the same but I'm going to take the vignetting correction down to about zero because I like the effect that the lens gives naturally with the vignette. And I'm also going to check remove chromatic aberration. Next I'll go into the effects panel and I want to add an even stronger vignette to this image so I'm going to take the vignette amount down to about negative 30 or so and I don't want the vignette reaching into the image quite so much so I'm going to take the midpoint up to about 60 and that'll just make it stay towards the edges a bit. Next I'm going to make a couple corrections with the spot removal tool so I'm going to zoom in on the face and as with a lot of kids and babies they'll usually have stuff on their face so you want to get rid of that. So I'm going to come over here and click the spot removal tool and I'm just going to increase the size a bit and I'm going to click on the spot that I want to remove and drag to sample from a clean area and when I let go you'll see that it removes that spot. So I'm going to do the same thing down here and that's all I really need to do with the spot removal tool. The last thing that I want to do is make the eyes pop a little more. So first I'm going to match the exposure since this eye over here is a little darker than the one on the left. So I'm going to use my adjustment brush and I'm going to set the exposure to about 0.5 and I'm going to paint just on this eye over here. And that will bring the exposure up just a bit so now they look more uniform. Next I'm going to create another adjustment brush and I'm going to paint on both of these eyes. And I'm going to increase the exposure on both of them to about 0.5 and add some saturation to make them a little more colorful. And that's pretty much it. So if we zoom out and you can see the before and the after. So you can see how powerful Lightroom is when you're working with raw photos to fix things like exposure and incorrect white balance. I know it's not always helpful just to rattle off a list of settings when it comes to editing photos because every image is so different. So I hope you guys learned something about the reasoning behind the settings that I used and the process that I went through to improve this photo. I'm John Shaver for Photoshop Video Academy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.